Hi everyone, I'm Florian, one of the developers of Fortis and today I will show you how to set up Fortis using Docker. Everything that I will talk about can also be found in our online documentation under fortis.readthedocs.io. Here we show an installation guide for the Docker workflow as well as for the pip workflow where you can find a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Fortis using Docker. So the first thing that you might want to check if Docker is already installed on your machine and if you want to use GPU support, you need to install NVIDIA Docker 2 and you may want to check which CUDA version you have using NVIDIA SMI. And for the rest, if all these requirements are fulfilled, you can find the whole setup guide here. And I will now go to one of our servers and show you how this works. Okay, so now we are on one of our servers, which is called Shivling. And first, we're gonna check if Docker is installed. We can do so by running docker minus minus version or by running docker run hello minus world. And by doing so, we are getting this greeting message from Docker. If you want to use a GPU, you might want to check which CUDA version you have installed by running NVIDIA minus SMI. And if you run NVIDIA minus SMI, we can see here that we have CUDA version 11.4, which is higher than 11.2 and is fine for Fortis. Next, I will now go to the directory where I want to set up my repository. That's Fortis tutorial in my home directory. And I will now clone the repository from GitHub. So all the links and so on can also be found in our online documentation, which might make life easier for you. And as you can see here, we now clone our repository. And within that repository, you're finding a Docker subfolder to which we're gonna go now. And in that Docker subfolder, we find a Docker file and a Docker requirements.txt. So the requirements.txt is just a regular um, Python requirements txt with all the um, uh, library versions that we need and the docker file is something like the blueprint for creating a docker image because that's what we want to do next so by running docker build minus t if we want to tag our image we can now create a docker image by running docker build minus t, we will call it Fortis tutorial image and point to, um, to um, say that the docker file is in our current directory. And if we run that, all the steps from our docker file are um, running. So we are taking something from, uh, from the docker um, hub and so on and so forth. So something is already cached on that machine, so it might take slightly longer on your machine. But anyways, it will now take some minutes, and as we do not want to wait um, for that, um, I would suggest see you in a minute um, when this setup is finished, and then we will continue with our tutorial. See you soon. Okay, so as we can see now, our image is now successfully built. And the next thing we want to do now is we want to run a Docker container based on that Docker image. So to do it though, you just need to type docker run minus it to run it interactively. With minus v, you can specify a directory which you want to mount. So for example, my home directory and within the container, I will just call it my home. You may want to mount a GPU, 
by doing minus minus GPUs device zero. And you might want to give your container a name for this tutorial container. And we want to run this container based on Fortis tutorial image. And if we run this command now, we can see that we are now within our container. So we are now root at some hash key. And as we can see here now, you're having a my home directory, which is my home. And then we can find our Fortis tutorial code here so everything that we need to run for this in the end you can find way more options um, for docker um, in our um, online tutorial so um, for example you can restrict the amount of cpus you want to use and so on and so forth but this is basically the setup for Fortis using docker you could now run your um, own experiments um, in further tutorials, we show, for example, a, a case studies and how to run now for this. So see you in one of our next tutorials and congratulations for setting up Docker with Fortis successfully. See you soon.